The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the May 23rd, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we get to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We get to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But most importantly, during this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. would love to hear from you. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Just let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question and in the tiger's den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow trading down 415 points. That's one and six tenths percent, printing out at 25,361. The S&P off one and six tenths percent, 45 points, trading out at 2810. NASDAQ 100 off nearly 2 percent, 144 points. Russell off nearly 2 percent or 30 bucks. Semis down two and a half percent. So it's mean and red across the board, meaning green. When we take a look at that spot volatility, it's trading up 20.54 percent. You know the drill. You know the drill come the end of the day. Do not ignore the drill come the end of the day if the spot volatility index is trading above a one-day rate of change of greater than 10%. You've got gold up 10 bucks. Speaking of 10s, silver's up 13 pennies. Light speed crude back 376, leading the charge to the upside. It is Universal Corp uh, up $7 or 13%. UVV is the ticker symbol. Mercado Libre up 5 Copart is up four or six percent. Uh, Argenix is up three bucks, two and a half percent to the downside. Amazon off 48, Chipotle down 41. That's nearly six percent, 967,000 shares to the downside. Booking off 37, Google 18, AutoZone 17. So things to look at, but we are going to look at uh, what uh, you guys want to look at. The first, uh, first request coming in from uh, Mike M. Mike M in Sarasota says, uh, please look at the gold contract and Royal Gold, when we get to the gold contract, that will be for Peter as well, who wants to take a look at it. But Mike's question goes on to say, well, first, let's pull up Royal Gold. Got those symbols already in here. RGLD, you can see it's trading out at 86.59 right now. And Mike goes on to say, Royal Gold, uh, please look at uh, Royal Gold for targets, as the TAS daily point of control was 84.19. Um, 84.14 was the top of the box. Never saw the top of the daily box. So that's where it was. By the way, the point of control on the daily time frame, left-hand panel of the chart, for those of you watching, if you look at that little data box, uh, you'll see that the uh, center is at 81.52, which is the point of control, what Mike is referring to, and the bottom at 81.52. Just tells you strong support. Resistance was the top at 84.14. Price is broken through that. Mike is looking for a uh, price target to the upside. So, Mike, that becomes pretty easy because when we take a look at our market profiles, or at least the first target that it would provide to you is going to be the bottom of the weekly profile. And that's 87.83. We're at 86.61 out here as we speak right now. So nothing else from a profile standpoint that suggests anything different. 87.83. Now, let's stick with the weekly chart as we go over to Stevie's other 
charts out here and tools uh, just to see what it signals to you and I, because that's a TAS profile. I don't have the TAS profiles on this weekly charter. I purposely do that, so uh, uh, I don't know why I purposely do that. I just do. But here, Mike, the level that you're looking for as po possible resistance, bottom of the weekly, we looked at that. We're looking at Stevie's green line. Now, it's priced at 87.68. That number is going to change up or down uh, over the next uh, several sessions or what have you. But that, too, is resistance. Now, closing up of Stevie's green line, 87.68, closing up back into side the box of the uh, weekly profile, 87.83, would be very promising. Promising to what? Well, Mike, here's, let's just stick with the, the weekly chart is the one providing the best signals. And I'm assuming at this stage here, because you've asked several times you're actually in this trade out here, if price breaks above that, well, we know what price did here on a weekly basis inside Royal Gold. We know that when it made its most recent top, it did it with that TD setup nine count. We do always, always recognize that the high or low, in this case here, the high can come on bars eight, nine, or the bar following bar nine. That little bearish engulfing session, that was the day, that was the high. It drove price down to where? To support. It drove it down to support basically to the T, to the tick almost, and support being the breakout area. That red horizontal line, yes, I refer to it as support, but the reality is it's really the breakout area. So the breakout area held, price is moving higher, your really next target, assuming price can get through those two areas we looked at, is going to be where resistance was, the breakdown. And that breakdown was not to hide that shooting star the week of July 6. Instead, it was the week following. A lower high out there, but there you go. That's your resistance level, 9318. So there you've got it. No real reason for us to look at the uh, daily or the uh, monthly time frame to provide you with the information that you are looking for. Hope that helps you out. Uh, no other questions at this stage, but I didn't get to gold out there. And so Peter had asked about gold. So now let's go try to figure out Goldilocks. What do we know about gold? Well, let's put up uh, the daily time frame chart. Let's go ahead and put up our profiles. Let's go ahead and punch them in. We're looking at the uh, June contract for gold. We're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly. Gold is, at this stage of the game, sticking its head back above the daily profile. It had been trading below the bottom of that box, 1281. A close above, we'll say 1283.80, which is the point of control, which suggests that price is ready to make a run for the top of that box at 1300.30. That's what the daily time frame chart is suggesting to you and I. Do we have any other calls or signals? I'm just searching around out here. Uh, yes, we do. We most certainly do. And what is that other signal? Well, that other signal is PS date resistance. And when we take a look at resistance out here, that number is clear as a bell. And that's 1292. And that's on a weekly basis. That is on a closing basis also. Where's gold likely headed to? As long as it stays above 1283.80, you got the number. 1300.30 or 1292, even Stephen. That's really where price needs to close above on a weekly basis in order for that TD9 count on the weekly to really call it a bottom. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's off 424 S&P 46. Ian writes in and uh, asks the question, is the S&P a good buy now with a 2800 uh, stop? The S&P is trading at uh, 2809. So let's try to answer that question for Ian. And Ian Miller. Now, I know that's not your last name out there, but that's from my big fat Greek wedding. And, and, and it just happens to be a movie that I love for many reasons out here. But hey, let's get back to the uh, Ian's question. First, Ian, let's take a quick peek at the equity futures contracts and try to understand where price is trading in relation to support. Now, here in the case of support, we're using our daily and weekly profiles, really daily, weekly, monthly, and uh, quarterly. Uh, in looking at the ES Mini specifically, that's your question. Here's what you know right now, and that is that price is trading below a key level of support. That key level of support is the daily profile. Now, it's by the hair of its chinny-chin-chin. Chin. Uh, nonetheless, it is still below. 2813.60 is the number. We're at 2809 in the uh, June contract for the ES Mini. You'd really like to see a close back above that price level if you were to take that trade. So that's what the daily time frame chart for the ES shows. As long as we're over here looking at uh, time at uh, instruments, let's look and try to understand and get a general picture of the market entirely. The NQ trading below, the NQ making a lower low from the uh, last week or something, uh, whereas the ES has not made a lower low, always something to think about. In the case of the NQ, it's made a lower low. And it's trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That number is 73.42. The Dow Equity Futures contract right on the number. Pretty close. 25.333 is the print right now. Bottom of the box, 25.338. We'll give it the five bucks. The Russell 2000 is trading at the bottom of its consolidation area. That's 14.9740. Hasn't made a lower low. Slightly above the low from the trading day of March 25th out there. Something to watch. Something to watch. So how do we sum this up right now? You have the Russell 2000 on a daily basis at support. Bottom of the consolidation. If you were going to buy the market, where do you want to buy it? Bottom of the consolidation. Want to sell it? Where do you want to sell it? Top of the consolidation. Dow Equity Futures contract at support. ES Mini. 
in essence, at support. NQ, not there. But you know what, Ian, I know you want to ask the question, and you did ask the question about the ES Mini, but when I take a look at charts like this and see things at support, yes, we could go focus on those intraday charts, and we will, but what really peeks out at me is the NQ. Because the NQ, well, maybe not so much at support. So what are the signals inside the NQ? That is what I would pose to myself as a question. So since I pose that to myself, I'm here. Well, then why don't we go take a look at the NQ? Let's start by looking at the 30-minute time frame out here. What's the 30-minute time frame show us? Well, the 30-minute time frame shows us the following things. Price is uh, in wave seven, letter G, to the downside. Uh, by the way, the last time we saw a high out here was wave seven, letter G, to the upside. Probably just a coincidence. If we take a look at uh, what Price is doing, it's been stretching its Lonely Hearts Club band to the downside without uh, strength to the downside. In fact, weakness to the downside. Ooh, looks like this current bar, the one that ends at 130, could be bar number eight of a TD setup nine count. Uh, we don't know for sure, but right now that's what it looks like. We know that the markets, instruments can make a top or bottom of bars eight, nine, or 10. So yeah, Ian, you should be paying attention to this. No bullish reversal signal out here. No no signal to suggest that now is the time, but, but there's potential there with regard to the short-term time frame chart for the NQ. Let, let us not stop there. Let us double, let us go for double the fun out there and go to the 60 minute time frame chart. Well, now this is a coincidence too. The coincidence is it also is in wave number seven. 30 minute was, the 60 minute is. So we pay attention, no TD setup, nine count patterns. There is an A to B equal CD. And so, Ian, this is why before we get any type of reversal, you would not step into some type of long trade or Stevie would not be suggesting for you to do that. Do do what you wish. You, you, you may be right. Uh, but here, what I'd like to see is some type of confirmation from the cavalry. And knowing now I take a look at a 60 minute chart that there's an A to B equal CD to the downside that could easily take price to 7205 is just its completion level out here. I say you've got to be careful. Yes, you're in wave seven below all kinds of resistance. 7310 is the current number. That's Stevie's red line. It's really acted as resistance all evening, all morning. Now the afternoon, I'd say you'd have to see it close above that in order to get your skirt in a tizzy uh, it, to, the, to the upside, so to speak. So that's a 60-minute time frame chart. But let's not stop there. Instead, let's double it one more time. Let's go to the 120-minute time frame chart, the two-hour chart. And if we take a look at it, what is its signals out here? I don't see a bottom. Yes, it's got that same A to B equals CD. No reason for me to have to redraw that in here. But I don't see a bottom signal on the two-hour chart. But now let's go over and take a look at the uh, daily chart. Let's just speed things up a tad. And what's the daily time frame chart? Because what are we looking for out here? Well, the one thing we're looking for when you get below a swing point, and look, Prices are below that support line. It has been below that TD setup support line. That always opens the door for the next support area, or what I mean is the breakout level, and that number is 7188. So 7188, probably not too far away from that, um, that 7205 on the uh, completed A to B equals CD pattern out here. But, but here's the deal, Eon Miller. And that is that uh, price is starting to move lower on daily time frame with less relative energy. Now, that's just a warning shot, a warning shot to say that the NQ on a daily basis could be forming its next bottom. Yeah, yeah its next bottom. That could just simply take price up to Stevie's Greenland of 75.33. Are we there yet, Ian? Everybody else, I don't see it in the NQ. We focused on the NQ, even though the question was about the ES, because it's the NQ that, to me, is breaking through key levels of support. And so we're looking to see if there's some kind of signal there. For example, if we do the same thing, come take a look at the ES mini on a 30-minute basis, what are we going to see? I don't know. We're going to see we are now, uh, looks like, forming uh, TD setup nine count 
out there. We're at the one to two point six one eight A to B equals C D uh, based on a set of swing points out here. Um, so it says okay, stay tuned, pay attention. Uh, if you're short, be paying attention to this stuff. Uh, adjust your stop appropriately. Let's go take a look at the uh, six. But 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 Ian. No signal yet to go take that long side of the trade. You can see here it's more clearly on the 60 minute, the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. We do have a bullish candle right now, but this, this chart doesn't complete until 2 p.m. But if you did get it, that could be a bottom, would be a bottom signal out there. That's the 60 minute time frame. What else are we going to uh, look at out here? Well, with about four seconds, let's pull over the daily. What's the daily chart tell us? If it doesn't find support, where support would be, where the breakout would be, is the March 28th low. And that low out here, that number, that price point, come on. Come on, work for us, folks. Work for us. Referring to my chart. Come on, do this. Do this while we're still on the air. Looks like I'm not going to get there, folks. No, here we go. 2795. That would be the ultimate support level for the ES Mini. Look right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. The art of timing the trade charts has a special running for one week only. From now through Memorial Day, you can save 25% off your first month and we'll ship you a hardcover copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade. The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system. This software package is the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to analyze stocks using Tom O'Brien's trading philosophy. It automatically provides you with Gartley and butterfly patterns, swing points, retracement levels, confluence areas, expansion targets, and the power law vector indicator with just the click of a mouse. The scanner searches thousands of stocks each day and delivers a list of every Gartley and Butterfly pattern it finds automatically. Just enter the promo code BOOK at checkout. This sale ends Memorial Day, May 27th, so don't let it pass you by. For all the details and to save 25% and get your free book shipped today, check out the art of timing the trade charts on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's up 402. So uh, we're still taking a look at the equity markets themselves and really trying to answer uh, answer Ian uh, Ian's question out here, and uh, so Ian, I'm, I'm just suggesting that you continue to watch the uh, the shorter term time frame charts. 
uh, for the ES, the NQ, looking for a potential bottom signal there. Now, the reasons why Ian would want to do that, we already discussed when we looked at the daily time frame charts, how three of the four were at support out there. So that's uh, stronger than one of the four. Uh, um, and, and what we also want to do, and Peter wanted to take a look at the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line. We can see we're at minus 154.70. So minus one, when you get below minus 150, Peter knows the drill. What's the drill? Yes. The drill is uh, that that is an oversold level. What's more important than the mere fact that it's an oversold level and you should anticipate a bounce or bottom is really the mere fact that back on the trading day of May 13th, there was a lower closing low of that advanced decline oscillator to reading, which was minus 182.99. Now, what we can also see here is the New York Stock Exchange is making a lower low. Let me tell you, let me share with you, tell you, that's kind of stupid, but yeah, I guess I'm kind of stupid. But let me just share with you the following. And this is really, so Ian is looking to buy the bottom. And Ian, the better outcome for you today is to keep that powder dry. I don't know if this will happen, but let me give you the better outcome. Let me tell you what typically would happen. The market closes at its lows out there. Coming into the close, you got people that say, okay, I missed the short. I'm going to go ahead and get on that short train. I'm going to buy that ticket only to get run over by that railroad. So I'm definitely suggesting you do not do that. And we get a lower low in the New York Stock Exchange price-wise on a closing basis, but we don't get that same lower low in the advanced decline oscillator reading. Now that alone is not going to be your signal that that's time to get long. But what you will do is then start looking at those short-term charts or those patterns that we just took a look at. Now, it, again, it may not come to fruition. I don't know what the next couple of hours of trading, two and a half hours, is going to look like, but that would be your better bet. It would also be your, so you can look at the other times where we've seen that pattern. It's basically the red lines here for bottoms green lines at the highs out here and uh, you're you're certainly on the right track and for those of you that are perma bears just close your ears and don't listen to this stuff and ignore these patterns that call and identify bottoms out there so what else is it well peter knows peter knows that uh, the other element associated with this is what you can see the spot volatility index well above the 50 day, 1535, you're at 1748. Sounds like the bears or sellers ought to celebrate. However, that's really bad news for the bears. It's bad news bears. I know there's a movie out there called Bad News Bears. It really is bad news bears. Why? Because when we see those one day rates of change greater than 10%, what do we typically see on the following session? Not always, not a guarantee, but what do we usually see on the following session? Well, overnight, we almost always see some type of ES mini counter trend rally out there. So, like, it might be better for futures traders than it is for uh, ETF indice type traders out there uh, because there it's very easy to place a trade, have the stops in place, go to sleep. If your stop gets taken out and hit, you're good. You get, you know, whereas you wake up the next morning if you've taken the trade at the end of the day and you got everything just simply nothing worked out here, market's gap down lower, then you're kind of, you know, screwed, so to speak. And especially so when we're so close to support a bottom of a box or the breakout area using the TD setup nine count. But let me just summarize this for everyone right now. The more bullish thing is that the market ends poorly today. The spot volatility index stays well above the 50-day and has a one-day rate of change greater than 10%. The New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator makes a higher low, while price makes a lower low. And then the whammy is the ES Mini. The ES Mini on its short-term time frame charts make and confirm a bottoming pattern. You got an A to B equals CD. You've got uh, price moving lower, doing with less relative energy out here. Uh, these are things that are in place right now, and so it's really going to be those patterns that will generate the signal. Now, that may have been the long answer, but I don't know any way to give you a different answer out there. So, Ian, and even though it's not Ian Miller, thanks for allowing me to have a little bit of fun. Going back to my big, fat Greek wedding out there, and... Uh, 
and have a great day. Okay, no other questions that we've got in the queue. Uh, Pete, did I cover everything you were looking for? You wanted, I don't know, did you, did you, I mean, I'm trying to go back here to see what you had asked for. Um, uh, A-D-E-S-N-Y-S-E, yeah. Hey, we got to everything out there. Okay, so who, why, who else wants to ask a question? Please, this is your time out here, and uh, your direction uh, really helps me to uh, kind of stay uh, focused. So, uh, and you know how hard it is for me to stay focused. Okay, so what are we going to look at next? Uh, T-bonds. Let's go look at T-bonds. We don't look at them enough, but let's go see what in the heck they're doing. Well, first, here's what we know about Treasury bills. The one thing we know is... Um, the global flow of capital wants the U.S. dollar index. Now, I know. In breakout city out here. Breakout city. Yeah, breakout city. How do we know that? All we have to do is see how treasury bonds are trading in their local currency because that's scope went down. Oh, Skype is down. Okay. So Skype is down. Okay, we're back. So we're back. Okay, I guess we're back. It in here the last 30 seconds. I don't know what I said during the last 30 seconds. So let me just start over here when we take a look at treasury bonds. When we take a look at this chart, thanks, Jose, thanks, Peter. We take a look at this chart. Here's what we know by looking at it. We know that traders in their local currency, those folks sitting in London, those folks sitting in Paris, those folks sitting in Japan, we know when they look at their screens out here, we know where they're making money today. Not by being short the market. We know where they're making money today. They're making money on their portfolio of, uh, of 30 year treasuries that they hold. Whether it's the futures, whether it's the TLT, whatever it is, everything has broken out, including in US dollars, broken above a prior swing point, which was 150.21 out here. What's happening here? What is happening here? This is how this is how folks in euros and pounds and yen say, I want to own the US dollar. Because if they're owning these treasuries, they're going to, when they sell them, they're getting back U.S. dollars. Yes, this is how you get into U.S. dollars. It's another way. You don't just look at the U.S. dollar index and say it's trading lower at 97.71 and say nobody wants the dollar. I beg to disagree. Uh, substantially. Substantially. So what's that mean? Where are U.S. Treasuries headed to? Isn't that really the question out here? Well, other than saying they're headed to the moon, Alice, I think what we have to do is take a look at the uh, quarterly. See if we can do this here quickly. Can we do it quickly? Where's the top of that quarterly box? 151, really where we're trading right now. 151.07. We'll be right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Sale is here. From now through Memorial Day, you can get up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars never expire and can be used for any TFNN good or service. Whether you're a current subscriber looking to add instant savings or you're a new listener or viewer that is considering signing up for any product in the near future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars and lock in dramatic savings on all TFNN products and services. We only have a sale like this a couple times times a year so don't let it pass you by tiger dollars are available in three purchase options with a 20 percent 30 percent and even 40 percent bonus once you purchase your tiger dollars you'll be able to apply them to your tfnn account and then they are automatically used for all your recurring subscriptions going forward making it as easy as possible for all the details on this tiger dollar promotion running through memorial day visit the front page of tfnn.com and get your tiger dollars before this sale passes you by if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
from all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the, uh, the question that came into the Dan, I don't know if it was really posted as a question, but, but we're going to approach it anyways. Um, no, actually it is. Uh, so the question is, uh, what, do, what price does silver need to exceed to tell us uh, that this is the start of a bigger rally? Well, the first place, uh, John, that you and I would go look at would be the daily profile for silver. I don't recall if it was yesterday or the day before. I do recall us talking about it. It must have been yesterday where we had noticed that the um, bar had uh, turned e orange. Let me get rid of a couple of these uh, swing point lines out here. Those were swing point levels that had been previously tested. It's now rejected those levels. Uh, but there was a new profile that formed um, late yesterday. I didn't see it actually until we just put up this chart here today. And uh, that new profile, again, this is one of those unique profiles where the center happens to also be at the bottom, 1440, which tells you that should be a strong level of support. Turns out that the low today was uh, 1440. Really? Okay, so strong support is held, but resistance has also failed on a daily place. That was 1450. But, John, as you can see on this chart out here, in essence, what price has done, 50, so it's proven itself to you. Has it proven itself that the greater rally is underway? And then I suppose the answer there is really no, right? And the reason why I say right is because price is traded up to towards the bottom of its weekly profile, and that's 1465. We've been up to 1464, basically. Uh, so we're a penny away. Uh, so that penny is really important to you. You really want to see gold by the end of the week, that's tomorrow, not gold, silver, close back inside the range of the weekly profile at 1465. If it does that, then I think you have your answer that the rally will continue, but just continue because there is further resistance that it has, certainly those profile levels, but also in the weekly basis out here, we'd also say that its red line at 14.85 is a real key level. Just like we looked at gold and the weekly oscillator on change line, Stevie, red line has contained any price advance by the end of the week. I would say that is also what you are looking at. So if you're asking me what you were about the rally in silver, it has probably spent its juice today. It's probably spent it. It's been able to get up. It's been able to take out support. Or resistance, I should say, the top of its daily box. It's gotten up to the weekly resistance level, and maybe it just needs to pull back to try to take that on. But 1485, that would really be the so-called magic number 
that I would say silver needs to close above uh, to prove to you that the longer term rally that you're looking for would be in place. I hope that helps you out. Our next question coming in from um, it doesn't say. Uh, but we'll go with why. Um, We'll go with why. So, but in, in, in why is in the letter of, of this individual's uh, first name. It says, what do you think of platinum? So let's go take a look at platinum out here. Let's try to pull the platinum chart up on our screen. And when we do that, we're looking also at the July contract. And the question goes on like this, especially when you are looking at gold and silver. Why is platinum not catching a bid? Well, now that I can't tell you. I mean, not that I can't tell you. I, I can't tell you because I because I can't tell you. I, I don't know the answer. It's, it's just simply what buyers and sellers uh, have decided to do out here. But let's still, uh, I'm trying to type something in here. That would have been wrong to do that. Let me try this. Uh, but when we, but you're absolutely right about it's not catching a bid out here. And it really does look like uh, platinum may want lower price. Now it's below daily, below weekly. Uh, why it's trading into the swing point out here. It's actually tested a swing point. Maybe it's about to catch a bid. There was a swing point from the trading week, uh, trading day, it's daily chart, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Uh, that was at 795.90, the low today, 796.60 out here. Hey, really close enough for me, but maybe not close enough. But hey, no bullish reversal candle or anything. Uh, on the daily time frame, any other patterns that might be out here? Certainly there's an A to B equals CD. So we can see that. That would look like this if Stevie's going to draw that in. I'm going to draw on the conservative one. Uh, so we see here it's completed the 1 to 1 1.272 today. And so why? If you're looking to go ahead and uh, um, make a Purchase of platinum ETF futures contract. Wait for a bullish reversal candle to then signal that uh, it's okay to buy the D point. Otherwise, what I'll be looking for on a daily basis, the actual breakout or one of the breakouts inside of platinum took place on February 15th. And that low out there, see if I can give you that number, that low is 785.10. That's your downside target. You don't have an upside target yet because we don't have any kind of bullish reversal signal on the daily time frame. And we're below all profiles daily and weekly out here. Um, if I look to the weekly time frame charts for platinum, I don't have any good news. The news there is that price wants to pull back to September 14, 2018. And that level is 776.70. So that's another, what, uh, 30 bucks, $33 or so to the downside. So that would be an area that you could look at targeting for a potential buy, as long as a bullish reversal candle doesn't come in and uh, confirm that by the D point of that A to B equals CD to the downside. But I really have no idea why traders are buying one and not the other. I don't really know. And, uh, yeah, Peter, you're right on a 60-minute basis. Uh, price is right at a TD resistance uh, level out here, 1287.40. So kudos to you. Price has not taken that area out. Um, we don't really have the topping pattern per se, uh, other than an A to B equals CD that it did, but no bearish reversal signal. Doesn't mean price won't pull back, but you're absolutely right that there was a, a resistance level, and that was 1287.40 out there in the case of uh, gold. So uh, why? I hope that helps you out with regard to um, platinum. I'd probably just be more focused on platinum and its chart if that's what you want to trade out there. And I hope that that helps you out. So thanks for writing in. Hey, by the way, folks, uh, before we get to the end of the show, I'm inviting you to a special engagement. It's early bird. It's early bird. Early bird catches the worm. And tomorrow, we're going to go catch a lot of worms out there uh, because I'm going to do the show from 7, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Yes, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. live, so it can be recorded. So you'll be listening to the show if you're just listening in at the normal time between 1 and 2. But I'd love for you to join me live. I'd love for you to have some questions in the morning specifically because this way, you know, you'll see how futures are trading, how anything's trading. We'll go take a look at the chart patterns at that time. So uh, tune in for a wonderful live version of the show uh, tomorrow at 7. That would be 4 a.m. on the uh, West Coast out there. So if that's what you're going to do, uh, get to sleep early. And for all of you folks in Australia uh, and Asia, that's a wonderful thing because it's, well, it's Friday evening, 7 o'clock. You'll be out at the Barbie, so to speak, out there. But uh, in any event, you can, hey, 
to plug us into the screens uh, at the uh, bar that uh, that you might be at and uh, display uh, TFNN. We would like that. Hey, but let's get to Phil's question here already. Uh, Phil writes in, hey, Steve, uh, uh, what's your outlook for HDB? HDB. It's an Indian bank, and so there's a bunch of gaps out here, certainly because of currency conversions. But let's try to answer Phil's question. What is HDB doing? Be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's off 414, S&P 46. So back to the uh, Indian Bank, HDB. Uh, it's actually the name of the bank is HDFC Bank Limited. And and as uh, as uh, Phil had pointed out to us, folks, we're going to ignore the gaps on the uh, daily time frame chart. We're going to ignore the temptation to say, hey, isn't that an island top out there? Because of the currency conversions, um, it's not it's not really appropriate to even look at those gaps and try to identify support, resistance, things of that sort. But in taking a look at uh, uh, HDB, one thing we do know, if we just look at market profiles, it says bullish across the board. Why? It's above the top of a daily, a weekly, monthly, and a quarterly profile out here. 
But we don't stop there, right? Because what we know about market profiles is they are not leading indicators. They are great tools to help us identify levels of support or resistance that we wouldn't ordinarily see. They provide us with those uh, boxes that allow us to understand where that point of control is. Is it in the center? Is it closer to the top or the bottom? The proximity of that center line is very important to helping us understand the power of a breakout or a breakdown. Um, but there's never going to be a leading indicator tool. We use it in combination with other tools. So speaking of those other tools, and this is what Phil was asking for, what do the other tools really tell us out here? Well, if we look at the daily time frame, what the other tools tell us, and, and by the way, this made a new all-time high. It did this a couple of days ago, May 21st out here. Uh, but when you make a higher high, that's never the problem. The problem is when you do it with less energy. And you just have to think of it like this. You're kidding yourself. You're kidding yourself if you're at the gym and you're doing curls and normally, you know, you max out, I don't know. You, you folks out there, you probably curl like 60 pounds in, in one arm, you know, and you're probably doing reps of 15. But you don't want to kid yourself when you get up to that 15th one and you've got to shift your body all around and you, you think it's, hey, Phil, the answer is this is giving you cell signals. It's as simple as that. It was yesterday's bearish engulfing, not today's gap to the downside. Looks like this wants lower price, probably targeting the top of the daily profile, 113.95. Folks, we'll see you tomorrow, 7 a.m. or the archive show you'll hear from 1 to 2. Have a great day. Take care.